So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're gonna straight away talk about what are the two methods, two type of methods that you can write inside your protocol. So guys, the first method is called required method. And the second one is called optional method. Let me tell you the required method is by default the method that you write inside your protocol. So knowingly or unknowingly, the method that you write inside a protocol without using an optional approach, maybe you are using an extension for protocol, then the method would automatically get optional. Or uh, maybe you are writing the protocol in an objective C manner. So in that way also, you can make your method as optional. But by default, if you write the method, it's called a required method. So to tell you more about what are required and what are optional method, let's jump right into our Xcode project. Alright guys, so here we have our Xcode project. So the very first example, which is a classic example that I'll give you is that let's see the UI table view data source protocol. So when you will jump to this definition of our UI table view data source protocol, then you will see some methods written inside it. So you would observe that these two methods, the number of rows in section and the cell for row at index path. Both of these functions are written in this way like function table view and the name of the function function table view then the name of the function but when you will have a look at number of sections method then you would observe that this optional keyword is written right here what this optional keyword is doing with this method is that it's making this method as an optional method and what's an optional method this method simply you know would not be is strictly required by this protocol whenever you will confirm this protocol to your classes okay so when we use this uh, UI table data source uh, protocol in inside our classes you must have observed that it is strictly uh, you know needs us or wants us to use these two methods it doesn't bother about other methods but it wants us to use these two, two methods and to tell us what is the return type of these methods otherwise it would not work so you can just try this out yourself and you will see the uh, you know changes and the whatever i'm telling you you can just observe that by using this so just go and just use this ui table view and use these two protocols of table view that, that is ui table view delegate and ui table view data source in the delegate one you would observe that all the methods are optional let me have a look at it as well so let's just write ui table view delegate so there we go it's ui table view delegate when you will jump to its definition you would see that all the methods written inside ui table view delegates uh, protocol are all optional types so you would observe that whenever you confirm this ui table view delegate protocol to your classes it would not ask you to implement any of the method written inside it it's just your choice if you want to use that method or not all right so that's the basic difference between what are required methods and what are optional methods so the method which is written inside this data source which has no optional keyword written uh, just at the beginning these two methods are called required methods inside a protocol whereas these methods which has this optional keyword are called optional methods the basic difference again i would say that the required methods need to be you know implemented whenever you are you are going to confirm this protocol to your classes or whatever and the other optional methods are just your choice if you want you know if, if the situation wants you to need this method or write this method you would simply implement this otherwise you don't need to just worry about those methods all right so that's all about required and uh, optional from my side if you really want me to just write it uh, like if you want to just write your custom protocol so let's just write that and you will see that it is what i am telling you exactly so let's just write view, view controller what i am writing okay so it's view controller delegate i don't know why i write delegate here it's just you know a habit all right so i will make it a class type because i just needed to, to confirm to a class type instance only now i'll write the method so let's write this method uh, i would name it um, my method okay i'm not that good at naming functions okay so this is simply a protocol called view controller delegate and i have this one method inside it which is 
a required type method now you understand that this method is a required type let me show you how if i'm going to you know just confirm this protocol to my view controller class then you would see that this this would this protocol would ask me to you know use this <laughs> so you can see that it's saying that it does not confirm and when we see it it does not confirm the protocol view de controller delegate do you want to add protocol steps so it wants me to use this my method which is written, uh, written inside this view controller delegate when i will tap on fix it will just automatically implement this method now it's my choice if i want to use it or not but it the protocol would want me to you know write this implement this method now it's your choice if you really want to use this inside your code or not but you will have to use it okay i mean use it in this way like you will have to write it you will have to implement it whereas if i make this method as an optional method let me make this an optional method by just adding the extension to this protocol name view controller delegate and if i write this method's name again right here in the same way okay and just realize it okay so now you would see that if we again write if we again just confirm this protocol to our view controller it would not ask us or if it, it would not throw any error to us just because we have made this my method just function as an optional function now you can also make this optional by using this objective c approach let me tell you how we do that let me just write a protocol in an objective way manner so if i write a protocol in an objective way manner i would write something like this objective c protocol and what was the name of our protocol it was okay it was view controller delegate so let's just write that and now you need to just define your method with an optional keyword so i'll write optional and the function name which was my method like before and there we go so this is our optional method again with us in an objective c approach okay so what we have changed here only is that we haven't used that swift type of protocol uh, defining we have used this objective c approach this time and i believe that this is a much simpler and much you know sorted way to write an optional method inside your protocol so i would just recommend you to whenever you are going to use these optional approach you would you just prefer this uh, way rather than using that extension way okay so again you will see that we have yes yes we have already confirmed to this protocol and it's not asking me to just uh, implement that matter whereas if i just remove this keyword optional from it let's just see what would happen okay let's just wait a second yes you can see that it is asking us again to use that you know protocol step which is the method inside it so guys that's what is the difference between required and optional method inside a protocol so guys if you really like this video please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also share this video with your other developer friends so thanks for watching this video see you in the next one bye bye jai hind